Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you are ready for God to bless you and do some incredible things in your life today. Hey, I, I wanted to start off just by reading to you Colossians 1 6, but uh, I'm reading from my phone because I wanted you to hear it from the New Living Translation rather than the uh, English Standard Version, which we normally use. Paul says, This same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. Now, um, the good news is going out all over the world. And it's bearing fruit all over the world. And Calvary is a part of that. We're a part of that uh, because we as a church have sponsored uh, almost 500 children of compassion in the last five years. Not only that, but we've built a compassion center in Honduras that cares for 300 children and their families. Even through the COVID pandemic, they were able to provide food and encouragement uh, to these families. Uh, not only that, but we've got money set aside for another compassion center to be built in Honduras because of your generosity. That's the gospel bearing fruit around the world. It doesn't stop there, though, because we're also part of the uh, Southern Baptist Convention, which our offerings that are donated to that uh, help to, to sponsor 3,700 missionaries uh, international missionaries around the world. Uh, they're in about 130 different countries and they are uh, planting churches. They are educating pastors. They are leading people to Jesus. In fact, last year over 300,000 decisions for Christ were made through our international missionaries. But it doesn't stop there either. Uh, you guys are blessing the people of Mozambique. Again, in partnership with the International Mission Board, uh, missionaries that are there, John and Vani Dina, you're blessing people. We've already helped to uh, uh, install 60 freshwater drinking wells for people who didn't have wells. And that means that about 45,000 people a day are drinking clean water because of you. And because of that generosity that Calvary has shown, uh, they have started churches, they have uh, launched preaching points, and many people have come to faith in Christ, again, because the gospel is bearing fruit around the world. Now, the gospel is spreading. It's bearing fruit. But i got to ask this question. The good news has come to you as well. Right? The same gospel that's bearing fruit all over the world is supposed to be bearing fruit in your life. So are you a follower of Jesus? Have you come to that place where you've acknowledged Jesus as the one and only Son of God and Savior of the world? You believe that he died on the cross to pay for your sins and was raised from the dead and you've made a commitment to follow Jesus? If that's the case, then this gospel has changed your life and the gospel wants to bear fruit in your life as well. So how is the gospel bearing fruit in your life? Let me ask you some questions for you to ponder today and maybe throughout the week uh, as you think about it. First of all is, uh, has the gospel changed the way that you talk, think, and act? Because... That's what the Holy Spirit in you wants to do. Has the gospel changed the way that you treat others? Because we're supposed to love our neighbors as ourselves, and love is patient and love is kind. Uh, do you always remember that when you're driving or when you're in a restaurant? Has the gospel changed the way that you practice forgiveness or generosity or serving? Because that's part of following Jesus. Has the gospel changed born fruit in your life in the way that you invite others to come and meet Jesus. After all, Calvary exists to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus, and you're the way that we do that. Well, here's the thing. If you'll allow the gospel to bear fruit in your life, it'll make all the difference in the world in the way that you live, the way you interact with others, and the way that you lead people into a life-changing relationship with Jesus. So I'm praying that not only have you been a part of the gospel bearing fruit around the world, but I'm praying that the gospel is bearing fruit in your life today. God bless Calvary and have a beautiful day.